Hello, I'm Sue Romanoff from Edison Group. Today I'm joined by Kirsty Crame, MD, the, the head of clinical strategy and development of Medigene, a German biotech with a platform focused on immunotherapies. Welcome, Dr. Crame. Thank you so much for the introduction, Sue. So Medigene is a leader in the field of precision immuno uh, immunology, developing TCR guided therapies for cancer. Could you highlight how you're differentiated? Absolutely. Thank you for the question. I think what's very differentiating about Medigene, and that's kind of where it all starts from, is that we have quite a long history. The company was founded in 1994, uh, and in 2014, our current CSO, Professor Dolores Shandell, uh, came on board and really developed the company into what we are doing now, focusing on precision oncology um, and targeted immunotherapy. And she's really dedicated her whole life to understanding deep T-cell biology, um, tumor immunology, and that really shines through in all the work that we do now. I think our thresholds, benchmarks, and the standards that we, that we uphold uh, uh, within the company when we uh, deliver natural TCRs with exceptional safety, specificity, and sensitivity um, is something very unique. And the reproducibility of our data, being able to deliver not one TCR against one HLA type, but one TCR, and I should probably tell you, a T-cell receptor, um, against uh, multiple targets. Um, and they all deliver this high sensitivity, specificity, and safety. Um, is very unique. And I think that this is supported by the um, partnerships that we have with uh, BioNTech, Regeneron, and Wushi Biologics, which was most recently announced which really supports the value of these TCRs that we find. And we also have some very um, partnerships with very renowned institutions, academic institutions like the Helmholtz in Munich, the Technical University in Munich, and the NIH, so the National Institute of Health in the US, where we have close collaborations and really working with great scientific minds. And then in addition to this, we have a very broad and modular end-to-end -end platform that supports us in all the work that we do but hopefully we can touch upon that later. So you have an active pipeline. Could you provide an overview of your key programs? Absolutely. So I think maybe just take one step back first before I answer your question. So we really focus on TCR guided therapies and multiple modalities that are guided by T cell receptors because T cell receptors have this ability to very specifically and very sensitive, uh, sensitively targeted those tumor cells and whatever is coupled to the TCR will get delivered to the tumor side. And cancer as a disease is not a disease that, unless you are one of the patients with very early stage disease when you are diagnosed, that goes away or is really cured by one modality. So we need multiple modalities and each patient might need their own sequence of modalities to really get to a deep remission or potentially a cure in the future. And that's what we're all aiming for. So we developed these T cell receptor guided therapies and we've over the past years mainly focused on cell therapies. And that is our 1015 program, which targets a certain protein called cancer testis antigens, and then our KRAS program, which is our 20XX program, which is a different type of protein expressed on tumor cells that T cell receptors can target. And those were both uh, in autologous settings, so where we use patients' own cells uh, to add our TCR to, and then we give them back to the patient as a treatment. We've recently announced that we're also looking at uh, the allogeneic setting, and that means that we can use healthy donor cells to add our um, T cell receptors to. And this just means that we can have the therapy available quicker for patients because we don't have to harvest patient cells first before we go there. And the third uh, modality that we're, we've announced working on and our most recent collaboration with Bushi Biologics focuses on T cell receptor T cell engagers. So where we're trying to um, couple the patient's own immune system with our TCRs to the tumor. So really directing the immune system where to go. And that, that, that's the extent of our pipeline uh, currently announced. We're very excited, if I can elaborate a little bit more, on our lead program, which is Medigine 1015, um, with our recent IND approval, which is in the, in the US. We've granted approval by the regulatory authorities there to move this project to the clinic. 
and we'll be looking to um, open this, the, the clinical study uh, by the end of this year. We've had a really smooth interaction with the FDA, which is the regulatory authority in, uh, in the US, uh, which was great to see that they're also uh, poised to move these therapies uh, to patients. And we've seen really the promise that these TCRT therapies hold uh, with approval of uh, TIL therapy, which are non-engineered uh, T cells uh, in uh, 2023. Yes, 2023. Um, and then recently this year, the first TCRT therapy that was approved in solid tumors, uh, which shows really the ability that these cells have and, and might give to patients. But we also saw from that clinical data that there is a clear need to improve uh, both the depth and duration of the responses uh, provided to patients. Um, but we also want to move beyond orphan indications. And orphan indications are just very rare indications that um, affect very few patients each year. And to give an example, um, the approval targets uh, about 1,000 patients uh, annually in, uh, in the US alone, and Medigine would uh, 1015 will be able to target 200,000 patients globally um, if we see that it works, of course, in all those indications. But I think that's a very differentiating thing for that therapy. To speak a little bit about the therapy itself, it's a first, uh, first, sorry, third generation, really first in class uh, therapy where we not only use a naked TCR, but we give that TCR uh, and the the T cells that it's on really armoring and enhancement because tumor microenvironments, so, so the tumor itself, really has the ability to stop your immune system from working. And we need it to work because we need it to clear the tumor. So by adding armoring and enhancement elements to this therapy, we're able to help these cells exert their function when they get to the tumor. And a third thing that this therapy really focuses on is what we call the drug product. So after we have harvested the cells, we have put the TCR onto the cells, you need to make sure that these cells are really still fit and able to exert their function. It's a living therapy cell therapy, which is incredibly exciting, but you need to take care of for the cells that you're giving back to the patient. So by the way that we manufacture these cells, um, we do this in a very short time frame, which of course is good to patients because the quicker they can get treatment, the better. Um, but also it makes that we have this really unique drug product composition as we refer to it with very fit cells. So I think that is the novelty and differentiation of this specific therapy. Broader indications, armoring and enhancement, our unique TCRs, and then that drug product composition. So this, this uh, got us very excited and we've really seen when we speak to investigators that this is also uh, resonates with the investigators in the sites. Um, we've been um, really um, incredibly fortunate to uh, be able to announce, at least here, uh, that one of the sites that we'll be working on, uh, working with, is the Fred Hutch Cancer Institute in, in uh, uh, Seattle, which is a very renowned cancer institute. And our PI, Dr. Zen, um, is the associate professor there um, and in the University of uh, Washington as well. So um, really a key opinion leader in the field that will uh, be leading the efforts in the US on this trial. So very excited to move this program to the clinic and work with the sites there. So, so you have this exciting end-to-end -end platform addressing the challenges in the development of TCRT therapies. Can you share some of its capabilities and how it's different from your competitors? Definitely. Thank you for the question. Um, our end-to-end -end platform is really modular, so we can apply it through all the stages of development uh, where we're working. Um, it's also important that it's not a fixed platform that remains the same throughout the years. It really keeps up with the state of art. Uh, you can see in our recent years how much publications have come out and how much new technologies have been added to support really efficient uh, ways of generating uh, TCRs and T-cell receptors or um, supporting the mo multiple modalities all through uh, manufacturing all the way through clinical development. And as an example, we recently um, announced our uh, Unitope uh, and Tracker, which is a very novel way of being able to identify specifically cells that express our T cell receptors. Um, and this can be done in different ways. Um, it was never 100% accurate. And this is a very new state of the art technology that allows us to accurately track these cells. And this is very important because this 
is a question that we get more and more from regulators with more and more scrutiny that dur during development we're able to specifically tell which cells are the ones that express a receptor which don't and we can take it all the way through clinical development and um, in the future we'll be able to say within patients how many cells where are our cells through this technology so it's just an example of one of the technologies that really supports um, the development and through all the way that we do from from target identification, TC, TCR uh, generation through to clinical development. Yeah, and, and you touched on this a little bit, but, uh, you know, congratulations on your partnered programs with Regeneron BioNTech and also with Luji Biologics. I think that external validation is really helpful and encouraging in this tough macro environment. Could you uh, provide a background on some of these programs? Certainly. So we're indeed very proud to have such partners and scientific minds that support what we already believe and, and see in our labs. For the BioNTech deal, we have a multi-year, um, multi-TCR collaboration with BioNTech, uh, who really see the value of our TCRs and who will, uh, or who is planning to move at least one of our praying TCRs into the clinic. With Regeneron, we also work on the cell therapy uh, side where uh, one of our mage TCRs is currently in the clinic in uh, Asia through JW Therapeutics. And we're very interested to see the clinical data coming out from that trial, which again will very much support uh, what, how our TCRs uh, function in the clinic, which is of course what we're doing this for. And then our most newly announced collaboration with Wuxi Biologics is our Medigene 3010 program where we're able to really benefit from complementary uh, expertise on our side with the 3STCRs uh, and their Wuxi proprietary uh, platforms. Again, having multiple modalities is incredibly important for cancer patients and they'll be guided by our TCRs, which we consider to be optimal binders um, and will be very sensitive and specific in finding those tumor cells. Right. I mean, you're, you're pretty busy, so we've covered a lot. Uh, is, is there a way you can briefly recap some of the key milestones and catalysts investors should look for in the next 12 to 18 months? Yes, I think I'm incredibly excited about the the, the upcoming year, year and a half, um, a set of clinical development, having a first program with Medigine 1015 uh, going to the clinic um, end of this year um, is something I very much look forward to. So the clinical data that we're targeting, the early clinical data from that trial, um, we're targeting to uh, announce near the end of 2025, which will be a big milestone for the company. Also advancing our KRAS library, which is the other autologous cell therapy programs uh, that we have in our pipeline. We'll be advancing those towards IND stage, uh, where we'll make certain announcement <clears throat> about achievements along the way. For the 3010 program with Wuxi Biologics, uh, the outcome of our proof of principle study, uh, we'll be uh, talking about that in the in the upcoming uh, uh, half year to a year, and further updates on our partnering uh, with both strategics and renowned academic institutions. I think we have some really exciting things uh, that we'll be able to talk about more in the future. Yeah, I'm looking forward to those. Thank you, Dr. Crane, for the update. Thank you all for joining us here today. If you'd like to learn more about Medigene, please refer to edisongroup.com. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sue. Thanks.